Hello, welcome back. Last time I learned to use the space beneath the puzzle to my advantage. 40%. Getting somewhere. Alright, and I think there's like two puzzles left here in this desert world. And they're in this room. Okay. Uh, that's one of them, right? Don't believe I've done that. So the music goes away when I enter a puzzle. And is replaced by this piano that tells me things. That's right. Okay. So... What am I looking at? So a little too long needs to get into that. Okay. And how would it do any such thing? Perfect, I did it. Uh, okay, so... I'm not long enough to mouth that piece, right? I am. Do I have any interest in... I can roll myself here. Okay, so that's not the whole story, but it's a good start. If I were to have my mouth around this... Eh, I can't make that happen though, right? Not at the same time as the rest of... No, there are several problems with what I'm going to do here. Are there? Probably. Okay, what do I want to do? I have no idea. That's part of the problem. Okay, so where to start? There's that wall down there which is making me suspicious of things. I see what looks like a formation that would be supported specifically by having that wall down there, and that would look like this. So why is this good? See, that's not great. But is there some way I can make it good? Oh, hold on. Ah, okay, so one way in which this is good is it puts the, the thing in line with its destination. And if my parody is different, I'm wondering if things just kind of work out. Because at some point... Right here, this is perfect for just rolling along because I have space beneath to just do this. Okay, there we go. Um, parody was wrong. So that... Pr mm. Actually, I'm not sure what that means. Hold on. Was it impossible to do what I wanted to do there if it's... In that arrangement, yes. So if it's right for starting the roll, it's wrong for ending the roll. So how do, how do I have something that works for both? Let's try doing this. That's not going to be it. And also I'd have to start from here, which maybe that's okay. No, maybe. Hang on, okay, so this is working. Where does it end up? In a good place, okay. So whatever I did worked. Not entirely sure what I did that made that work better the second time than the first. I guess it's that I rolled those two together over, flipping them horizontally, then started from kind of the same place. Which, yeah, just meant that the one that ended up on here when I reached that target was the, the other end, the end that I needed. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. I want to do something. Can't cancel this animation. I'm stuck in it until it's ready to let me get out of here. Let's see the other half of the puzzle. Easy mode. What do you have for me? So I start right here, ready to roll, and it just kind of naturally happens. Okay, got it. Cool. 
I do have to wonder. There's no way that I can have both experiences. I've chosen the, the harder version of this, but I do have to wonder. Sorry, I'm appreciating the, the lighting on the cactus there. Uh, I have to wonder what the experience would be like if I were using insight puzzles before solving the main one. Like, would I have more trouble understanding what the what easy mode is telling me? Again, I suspect there will come a time that I will want to use insight for insight purposes. Okay, so this looks like it's a matter of finding where I can roll this over. Well, I need to roll it... Where I can roll this over, and I need to roll it not just this way, but also vertically? Oh! Well, I think I found the spots. Just by sheer accident. I'll take it! Okay, and then can I reverse this if I maybe pull you out? Okay, that was an accidental solve. I'll take it, though. I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I just, just by, by sheer luck, ended up in exactly the right place for it. Uh, this is still wrong. Ah, uh, right, because I'm done with the puzzle, I can trap you and not worry about it. Okay, so that, that just kind of happened immediately. Works for me. Would I have realized I needed my tail to be that, or not my tail, but the part of, yeah. No, I, I would have gotten there, probably, if I hadn't accidentaled. Okay, I see. Then I just put myself in there instead. All right, well, hey, Desert Worm is done. Let's ring that bell. Wherever it is. Maybe I could have gotten to it with 10 because the other ones were uh, easy to get by assisting with other worms. However, let's see. Uh, oh boy, what did I do? I don't know, I undid and now I'm somewhere else. Okay, so I'm on the desert. If I were at, yes, this one, Snow World, you have enough left to push south once, but I can't travel to the desert because, oh, 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 uh, because I'm not connected to it. Right, yeah, that whole deal. Moving you east isn't going to get you enough of whatever. If I were to restart, this is what that looks like. Blue has moves input. Beige has not done anything. I could ignore the bell and go for something else, but I don't want to. So, okay. Blue has a few moves left. I'm going to push it over so it can help with the deserty one. Except I won't be connected to anything. That old problem. So I'm connected here. If I just push you over, blue won't be able to help you really. What if I go off the edge and then I'm here? Well, it's legal. Hmm. Okay, so, oops. Um, so this is the starting thingy. Can blue just get straight to desert? I don't know what to call that color. Yes, you can. Then if I were to connect with E, how do you propose to do that? Uh, 
This is not looking promising. Okay, yeah, so starting from here. Let's go to beige. And get some extra push on blue, first of all. Don't want to put it all the way into the thing. So I guess I'll just use these moves to connect to it. I should probably involve the wintry one. Three left, can't connect. Um, so I have three left on that blue. This is just the position I was in before, and noth nothing has really helped at all with what I'm doing here. Yeah, there is way too much space to... Oh, wait, hang on. That bell is closer. Oh, you have a bell I haven't rung. Hold up. You have a bell I haven't rung. I can't just get to it. Could I get Desert's help? No, it's way too far away. So hang on, your bell is closer than that. Where is it exactly? Okay, right down there. Not quite. Okay, this is clearly for later stuff, so I could just not worry about it right now. And I'll gain more ability to move around. Yeah, so there's a good chance that what I'm trying to do just isn't possible with the tools that I have right now. Therefore, instead of that, I should gain the maximum number of tools because I don't need to solve this puzzle now. That can wait. All right, so what's the... Ooh. I don't want to have pushed you over there. I want you to stay as you are. What's the power situation here in this worm? Oh, that does not line up. Okay. So, all right, things, what do I want to do? Let's try, that doesn't work. I couldn't like push this over and then connect to, no. You can just make it there, which is interesting. Doesn't look like it helps me. Because you'd have to go all the way around farther than you can go, and I know the way that's lined up, that won't connect. Okay, so I need a port of the other type to get there. Who has? Do you has? You do. All right, that'll do. So, what is in here? Power's out. There's a slicer. Sure, looks like I can't do a single thing here. Oh, that slice is part of a puzzle. So I probably need to reach another port. Yeah, this seems pretty clearly like there's absolutely nothing I could do. Okay. Let's try reaching another port. Uh, oops. I didn't hold still for long enough. So over here. If I could get a little farther with Snow Worm, things might happen. So if Beige hadn't pushed you as f um, or... No, that's not going to make sense. Hold on, okay, so what if... Well, then you wouldn't connect.
So I can't just like do this and then connect, right? Oh, I could if I went one less. That might give me enough, actually. One short. Would that have connected? I can't really tell. I think it wouldn't have, but what if I go the other way? There, that's a connection. Alright, so I'm going to travel to here. I'd like to travel to the other side of that, and this is probably the best way to do that. Here, flower pot. Maybe I can do something. Lollipop world. Alright. Okay. Battery in the slot. <laughs> Rainbow worms come out. They look very yummy. <laughs> Alright. Go to Candyland. Alright, what puzzle's this? Five eight, that doesn't sound like the right place to start. Which direction is this going, up or down? I threw a second hole. This is going down, okay. So keep going that way. Oh, but I can't. So I have to start with the higher numbers. All right, fair enough. Yeah, and this will take more. Hang on, one, two, three. I'm trapped here. That requires four to open. I can potentially earn three here. So, okay, before I do... Oh, wait, but the power's on. Now I can go back to the other connection, right? I think that's how it's going to work. So, if I undo these and connect there instead, then maybe something of interest will happen. Yeah, so now I can go all the way down to the bottom and start with... Uh, right, okay, that's walkable. <laughs> oh, look at those three all in a... Oh, this is like a weird multi-entrance puzzle. That's the pilot room. Okay, well, you know what? I have zero things. What does it look like when I do that? Just can't go. Okay, sure, fair enough. All right, so I have to choose my entrance, and that's the mechanic of this, well, this room at least. Oh, that one doesn't go, of course. Right, there's no, I have to choose the entrance that goes to a, a centipede's brain. So that's this one. So no real choice, just only one will work. Uh, yes, 5-1, okay. So, what's the deal? That worm's glowing. What? It's unclear to me what happened. Why was it so glowy? So now hold up. If I can gain insight, can I like switch worms or something? Uh, hold up. What is you? How are you? Wait a second. I think I might understand something or at least have an educated guess. Yeah, okay. You're a splice, aren't you? By solving the puzzle this way, I lock in your position and that affects wiring. Is that how it is? You thinned out. Oh, now you turned into a wire. Or you created a... Oh, okay, so a worm ends touching two terminals. Oh, we got metapuzzling going on here. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this is cool. So that's how I splice. But that's touching two terminals now, isn't it? And that's a permanent change. What if I push this again? Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, um, do I wish to splice something? I will. There are no slicers there. So, okay, so if I'd enter this, it would go nowhere. 
okay, this is much more involved than I thought. So if I do this, I can enter this puzzle, 5-5, five, five, but I clearly can't do anything. It tells me to exit the stage. Yes, okay. So I need to prepare. All right. Another layer, but like with everything that, with what I already had. Okay, so. I do have to put this in. I don't get a choice about that. Basically, I have like one thing that I can use to usefully splice. Can I? If I destroy... I have just enough space to do this, and that's not... Right now. So that splice does nothing. I'll destroy it in the process of... doing what I'm doing here. I guess I would probably like to enter from... Yeah, here. Might do the job, or ideally here, really, but that's inaccessible with the worm in this orientation. Yeah, and this would go nowhere, this would go nowhere, that would go nowhere. Is there even anything that I want to splice that is... In such a... Wait, hang on. I'm the shape. Oh, I'm the shape that can go in the thing. Okay, got it. I didn't follow it first. Uh, yeah, so you're splaceable there. Got it. That's why it was glowing. So tell me what that'll do exactly. There to there, which is good enough. Yes, okay, great. Neat, okay. So, um, if I could roll this over, I could solve the puzzle. If I could slice this, I could solve the puzzle. I think I can slice that. Looks sliceable to me. Ah, but it put the food in the wrong thing, of course. So, can I chop and eat and grow? I don't think so. Can I roll this over? I don't think so. I think I might still have the wrong entrance here. Like, okay, sure, I can do this. And get stuck. Wait, I can snip here. Right, okay. I somehow didn't see that as a valid snip spot. However... Uh, can I use the other bracket to somehow bring this back? If I had laid it down first as a bridge, I think that would have worked. Yeah, that should be fine. Oops. And I get a little bigger in the process. Cool. All right. Great. <laughs> that music knows that I'm about to solve the puzzle. <laughs> okay, so there's one of these symbols in each one of those ports. So I need to splice here to... Okay, yes, I understand what you're saying. Oh, this is wild. Okay, this is so cool. So that's not solid in any way, right? Right. If I touch it, it just, just disintegrates. Very fragile splice. I want to mouth this. Yeah. I want to mouth that. Uh, I can mouth it, right? No, not at, not at the length I'm at. Not like that. No. You can't be a blocker. Ah, but if you're a bridge, 
then there's enough space to do still not quite the right thing what if you were okay hang on i think there's a spot ah, but i can't pull you north all i can do is put you east or west and west is the only way that looks to be of any use i want to roll this over and splice from like here to here can my body be a splice while oh i see trickery i see trickery oh i see some good trickery here check it i'm gonna put this yeah you know you're close but no 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 i'm doing i'm doing trickery okay so i need yeah right this is already set up i do this I do this, the puzzle solves, my body becomes the splice. And then I can get from over here to a different entrance to this puzzle. One, solve it from this location and get the, the collectible thingy. I don't have a name for those. Two, have access to different splicers or bridges in order to roll... Okay, the splice I wanted to make was here to here. And if I'd roll you over, it would be viable for that. And with this horizontal bridge now, I can create a situation where that's possible, I think. Uh, I need vertical mouth, which means you just need to act as a barrier. You don't even need to bridge or anything. There we go, barrier. So you go here, roll, and then go here. Then I sacrifice myself for that. I fill that thing with juice, get the little symbol out of it, and I can enter from one last, wait a second. No, no, this is correct. I enter here, wherever I end up, that's the thing that ends up opening even if it's not in this puzzle. Wow, okay. And now I'm in 5-4, a different puzzle. I haven't been checking Insight, probably because this is all intertwined. I don't want to yet. I can just do this. But the interesting thing is to make a splice. Okay, so first of all, I got the thing. Yeah, what even could an Insight be for this puzzle? Maybe there is none, because it's so basic. But there are also, like, several ways to solve it. And where does... Right, this one... No, hang on. I still need this to... Relinquish its juice and stuff. Perhaps that happens when, like, this segment of the worm turns? I'm not sure how that relates to... Everything. Or am I supposed to splice? Somehow here in this puzzle between there and, like... Oh, I'd have to go to the next room or something? I don't know about this. This might not be possible to me right now. Now this just goes nowhere at the moment. That'll just come back and fall on the floor. Yeah, okay, I know. Oh, uh, I have four. I can open that. And I know where that goes. I've been on the other side of that door already. This is a very small worm but very interconnected. Uh, there was one more thing I really wanted to do right now, which was to understand why I want to do things in this puzzle. So there's this one over here. I'm going to access that port. Which really means entering from another worm entirely. So that's not going to happen right now. If I were to do an action in here, which action would be helpful? Like, I should make a splice. Something or other. And I assume it has to be at the end points. Because I can't just, like, stick this on here. That's not a valid anything. Okay, that's a valid something, but it's not really anything. 
I mean, all right, I made a splice, sure. But I can't use that. And yeah, all that is is just horizontally split by three. Which has no use cases there with what I currently know. So I think, I think I'm done with this room as much as I'm going to get to be. So if I'd like go here and say, there's no insight here, that's how it is. What about in this puzzle? Okay, that's a solution to this problem. And this would say... Yeah, okay. So I'm forced to push that in order to put that there, and then I would see both of these would split... It didn't actually show them doing the thing, but it did end in that particular position. Okay, this is wild. All right, yeah, so I... It's unclear to me whether I have the means to solve either of those. The one in the... Here, I'm almost sure I don't. This one here doesn't seem like it, but I'm not sure what would help me other than maybe turning the worm. And I'm not sure the rules of that, so let's wait on that, and I'll come back here after turning and see if that would be helpful. Okay, cool. So we got some non-linearity going on here. All right, see you next time for this room.